Hello, partners. Thank you for joining me for this video as part of your onboarding process. Today, I want to briefly explain the requirement that partners have to participate in a special project, what that means and where these projects come from. For those of you that have been with the consortium in the past, you will be aware that we open something called the docket. There are two sides to the docket. One is our business meeting that is done every single year. And the other is our special priorities docket. This opens only on even years. And so it is not open this year, 2023. The docket, the special priorities docket is where each of you have an opportunity to outline a problem, a need or a gap that you have observed in your local community or in our national community or global community. It is something that you think our collective of over 40 organizations and over 40 independent advocates should all come together to work on. Now, the way it works, if you're new, is that you will come each year to the Leadership Summit. Sometimes it has been virtual. This year, it is in person. At the summit, we open up that docket and we go through them one by one. Things that have been put on the docket are all combined if they're similar and you get an opportunity to present that topic to the rest of the collective General Assembly. You will then have an opportunity to explain your docket item, why you think it's important, and then answer questions and have a discussion about it. Everyone will get their chance at the Leadership Summit for anything that was placed on the docket. We then vote. Everyone's vote is held equal for small CBOs, large national CBOs, including our IPCAs. Your vote is held equal and you will vote for the top three docket items that you think are the most important. The consortium staff will then tabulate all of those votes and we will let you know which items came out as the top three. Those will then be the three items that we will work on for those two years, for the next two years that we will work collectively to create a project and then to execute it. Occasionally, there are projects that after two years, they are something that can be wrapped up in its entirety. Other times they open up a new platform and it's something that we will then be working on every year moving forward. These things are the special projects. So for example, one year, a top item was that you all decided you wanted us to host a series of classes to teach CBOs how to use social media to improve healthcare outcomes. We then wrote a proposal together with you all, submitted it, it was funded by Pfizer, and we created a two course series. So actually it was two semesters. Each semester had six classes once a week, and each semester addressed that need. How can we use the various types of social media to improve healthcare outcomes? It had an absolute complete timeline and a finished goal. So we did it, presented it. It's now online and it's available to you all. A lot of you participate and have been to those classes. Alternatively, sometimes there's something that stays awake. When the year you all prioritized that you wanted us to begin to destigmatize mental health and focus on it. That, of course, is an ongoing thing. There's not an, okay, it's done. Mental health is destigmatized and everyone has it. Hopefully someday it will. But that's something that since that year has been a part of the consortium for every year. And we now have an entire committee based on mental health and wellness that does things year round. These are different types of things that you all will put on the docket and then they become special projects. The special projects, as this is an odd year, that were voted on last year and are happening again this year, there are three. Education were two of them. One was for primary education. And so there is a group of different CBOs, patients and caregivers among you who are working on creating a project to educate and to put sickle cell out there in primary education schools. The second was secondary education. This project was to take sickle cell awareness and education to colleges. And the third you all voted on last year was faith-based initiative. That project is also ongoing. 
You all will be able to hear updates on all three of them at next month's Leadership Summit and we'll share additional information. Now, the part that I think is important is that there is a requirement that all partners must participate in an active special priority. That's those three, along with others that are still ongoing. At the last Leadership Summit, we explained that priorities that were voted on but did not move forward have been moved out of rotation. They can be put on the docket again to start over, but other projects that are ongoing are still open. We ask that every partner, every organization, every IPCA support at least one active special project, special priority. What that means is if you're an organization that you have at least one delegate, go regularly to the meetings and provide input and support on that project. If you're an IPCA, it means that you have chosen one and that you are lending your voice and your effort to making this project a reality, that we are executing a solution to whatever that problem, need, or gap that you all identify is. That's essentially how that works. Those are the special projects and priorities. If you have any questions about that, you can always reach out to me or to the president of the General Assembly. Your elected president is currently Mia Robinson. She can be reached at GA General Assembly, GA President at sicklecellconsortium.org. I can be reached at director at sicklecellconsortium.org. I also encourage you to reach out to our Director of Operations, Sharonda Sykes, and our Senior Project Manager, Dominique Goodson. Sharonda Sykes is at S Sykes, S-I-K-E-S. So that's S-S-I-K-E-S at sicklecellconsortium.org. And Dominique is at D Goodson, D-G-O-O-D-S-O-N at sicklecellconsortium.org. Reach out to us, learn about the different special priorities. You will be getting an email and we'll be talking about all of them at the upcoming Leadership Summit. And we ask that everyone be active on at least one of the nearly dozen open and active sickle cell special priorities, chosen, prioritized, voted, and now executed by partners of the Sickle Cell Consortium. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to me. Thank you, and I will see you all soon.